Dr. Jay Heinz with Houston Injury Solutions Network. One of the common things, unfortunately, that happens with patients who've been in auto injuries is if they're not responding, and especially if they're having pain radiate down their leg or down their arm, we oftentimes have to order an MRI. When we get those MRIs back, we frequently find what's called a disc herniation. So let's kind of review the anatomy and, and discuss what is a disc herniation, and then we'll talk about how to treat it. A disc herniation, if we look at the anatomy of the spine, we've got vertebra, and then there's a shock absorber between the vertebra. That's your disc. So what happens, unfortunately, in a disc herniation is that shock absorber starts to push out like this. So to kind of clarify it a little bit, if we were to take a cross section through here, we'd be looking at this. So here's the disc material, and this yellow thing sitting right here, that's your nerve. So if that disc material is pushing back against the nerve like that, it'll cause radiating pain, and in this case, it would cause radiating pain down the leg, which is commonly referred to as sciatica. Now, years and years ago, that case would go straight to surgery. But we now have a lot more interim options and great treatment tools for disc herniations that we didn't have in the past. So the simplest thing is traction, or the newer version of it, Cox decompression or decompression therapy, where we basically take these vertebrae and pull them apart. When we pull them apart, it creates a negative pressure inside the disc and drives the disc material back into the middle. That takes the pressure off the nerve and reduces the pain shooting down the leg or down the arm. Now, if that treatment doesn't work or the patient doesn't respond to that treatment, then our typical next resource is to co-manage with an epidural pain specialist or a pain specialist. They do an epidural injection where they take steroid and get it right into this spot. It's much more specific than general steroids and it usually calms that area for a period of time. Now, once the area is calm, this is a great opportunity to continue with the decompression, make sure that we're pulling that disc material off the nerve, and then start active care. And active care are exercises where we strengthen the spine so that the disc is less likely to get aggravated in the future. Dr. Jay Heinz with Houston Injury Solutions Network.